All right, guys, good evening and welcome to tonight's prayer for Christian creatives. And I've been asked many times, numerous times, you know, who is a Christian creative? And by God, we're working on a course to make sure we answer as many questions and, and give you as many information, as much information as you would need on your journey on, as a creative and as a Christian. But I'll just quickly define those. First of all, we are creative not because we have even made anything. We're creative as an identity. The one who made us, the God who is creative, made us with the ability to create. And the reason we end up you know, being called creatives is because people can see our, the things we have done. But the things we have done is as a result of who we already are. We are creative first, and that's why we create. And so whatever you create... You know, whether it is music or it is fine art or it is well-crafted words, you know, um, or it is your surgical ability to walk in a theater and make a person who was bleeding to stop bleeding. Whatever you create, whatever you are able to make be, you are creative by identity because the creative being who made all the world, when he made you, made you with the ability to make things all right and so that's why any human with capacity first if he puts his heart and his his mind towards learning a thing it doesn't matter after a while he's going to become pretty skillful at it all right um and christian christian because we have been baptized into one lord by one spirit by our trust in jesus right our hearts have been renewed our hearts have been changed and our minds are in the process of being renewed by the words of one Lord who leads us in love. And so when I speak about Christian creatives tonight, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about everyone with the ability to create who identifies as a Christian. And I know that there are, there are smaller niches for, for these words, but that's how I choose to refer to, to, to it. You know. And so whatever field you are in, tonight is for you. Um, we are going to just jump into praying in the spirit and in our understanding for five minutes. And why this meeting is set up is because from last year, God began to nudge on my heart. I have had such a passion for sharing knowledge um, that I've learned in, in, in the past few you know, years with as many people as possible. Because the more I learned, the more I realized the knowledge is scarce in our community. The knowledge is so scarce in our community. I don't know why, and I don't, don't want to dissect why, you know, but the necessary knowledge for people to thrive is so scarce in our community, and it has to be shared. But before embarking on sharing as much knowledge as possible, um, the Lord has laid it on my heart that the work we are doing is too spiritual to be casual about. There is a thing about us that can hear knowledge and just run with the knowledge without the proper mindset, without the proper reliance on the right strength, especially because of the kind of work we are called to do. And we'll look at that very closely as we pray on. But right now, I want us to make sure that we realize the importance of speaking to God concerning the the, the one who has made us to create, the one who has made us in purpose and who knows the reasons behind why we should create and who dictates the reason behind why we should create. I want you to lift up your voice to him in the next one minute and just begin to speak to him. Thank him for making you creative. Just thank him for making you creative and, and, and speak to him, you know, freely in this moment because from, from then on, we're going to have guided prayer. So just speak to him in the next five minutes and thank him first for making you creative. He has made you with the ability to make, to look over the deep, the face of the deep and to do something to make sure that the next time you look at that place or people look at that place, what was once bad, they would say is good. So I want you to just lift up your voices in this moment to God. And just speak to him. Thank him for making you creative. Thank him for making you creative. And thank him for and ask him for guidance. Just feel free to speak to him in this moment. Whatever your heart desires. In the next five minutes, the floor is yours between you and your father. Thank him for saving faith. Thank him for saving faith. Thank 
Tarakali. We love you, we worship you, we praise you, we adore you, we love you, we worship you, we praise you, we adore you, we love you, we worship you, we Maso prebete de bete ke no mo she te ga pa she pre ke no man de pino ba she fina maka thank you daddy thank you for such ability to make such ability to make thank you for 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 such ability to make we <laughs> Thank you for making us with the ability to create. Thank you for Thank you for giving us such a blessing of knowledge of how to create. Thank you so much, Father. All that we can do is because you made us with the capacity to. It is only right to honor you, to honor you with the gift. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just two more minutes, make it count. Two more minutes, just make it count. Just let your praises rise up to God for making you with the ability to create all that you can do is because he made that hand all that you can do is because he made that eye all that you can do is because he made that tongue all that you can do is because he made you with the ability let the praises the fruits of your lips be given to the one who makes the one who makes wise the one who makes you capable Zontolo boko shete ne beki ratama se petre beke lom shete ya bakali na maki kero ponde telema shete ne me zontolo boka lama tila ba shebra kaya ba. Our protection, our healer, our deliverer. You will never fail us. Just take two more minutes. Take two more minutes. Take two more minutes. There's no rush here. Just take two more minutes. Take two more minutes and just be with the one that. I mean, this is such a good time. Such a good time to pour praises. Such a good time. Such a good time. There's so much you have planned. But all those plans can only be executed because he made you with the ability to create. He made you creative. He has made you Christian. By the blood of his son, he has made you lose the fear in your heart towards judgment. By the blood of his son, he has given you a hope for growth by the spirit and by his word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All of our progress is in your hands. All of our confidence for growth is because we have you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
And in Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Listen, guys, the Lord just nudged my heart, and I'm just going to do it. There's much to pray for, and this meeting is scheduled to last for 45 minutes, and so will it be. Um, the prayer, that is. And um, the Lord has nudged my heart that there's a lot of you here with who need to just regaze on God. You see, perfect peace is reclaimed not because we have perfect circumstances. Perfect peace is reclaimed because we are fixing our eyes on something steady, someone more steady, right? The difference between the, the heart of the Israelites when they saw Goliath and the heart of David when he saw Goliath was where their gaze was. One was more on the might of the opposition. The other was on the might of his God. And it didn't matter if he had not won something as mighty as that. He was ready to use his smaller victories to, to prove that his bigger victory is possible. He says, if God could help me do this, the bear and the lion, then Goliath is nothing. And so I'm, I'm just going to play a song by one of our, our, our brothers and, sis, uh, and sister. You know, and as a song plays, I want you to just, and I trust that the Holy Spirit in this moment, because he has nudged, will bring peace over your hearts. And those of you who are at peace and whose mind are fixed on the Lord, I want you to, in this moment, just begin to intercede for every creative whose peace has been taken, whose gaze has shifted, right? Whose eyes are on the storm and, and cannot trust that, that, that they can have a peace in the calm. I want you to just intercede for every creative as this song plays. And let's watch what God can do in this moment. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we're still praying. We're still praying. We're praying, praying for everyone and their peace. And I want you to, to put yourself in their, in their shoes. Feel, feel their fears and cast them out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Boy on his heart. You sing your song in my heart. You sing your peace. A shepherd boy on his heart Sing your song in my heart And you sing your peace oh, when you sing your peace yeah. Come on, just lift your voice in intercession for everyone whose peace has been you lacking You will keep in perfect peace Because he was hard to stay on you. In the name of Jesus, your eyes are open in the name of Jesus. And call 
stay on you. I'll stay on you. I'll stay on you. I'll stay on you. And I'm going to just pray over everyone right now. And, and I want you to have a loud amen with me. Now in the name of Jesus, as we have prayed for everyone under the sound of our voice and everyone that we have set in our hearts, by reason of our prayers, knowing that perfect peace is claimed by gaze on you, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that your angels will open the eyes of everyone who has found it difficult to gaze at you so that they can see that those who are with us are more than those who have come against them. In the name of Jesus, not a moment later, but right now, let your word rise to the surface and begin to cut down everything that has exalted itself above your word. In the name of Jesus. Great is your peace. Shalom over your mind. Shalom over your walk. Shalom over your thinking process. Shalom over your execution. Your failures with anxiety in the past will not stop you from pressing into peace to now and tomorrow in the name of Jesus. The wrestle you have had with suicidal thoughts would not make you feel less sufficient as an able minister of the gospel. It ends today. The, mo the times that you have had with your dreams that have disturbed you so much so that you have feared to shut your eyes. In this moment, you wear the authority that you have in Christ Jesus and you trample upon serpents and scorpion and you will know that nothing shall by any means harm you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to just read something real quick today. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. It's so good to see you here. We're about 106, 53. I don't know how you guys planned it, but you're 53 on, on Zoom and you're 53 on MixLR. I, I guess there was a you know thing that I didn't know. Maybe it, like someone was dividing. Maybe there was an usher, a supernatural usher or something. Um, but we're going to read... You know, um, we're going to read Exodus chapter 31. I love this verse so much, and it's going to give us a guidance into the prayer. There's so much to pray about, but we have so little time. And this wouldn't be the only time we would be praying together. Can somebody say amen? All right. So <laughs> Exodus chapter 31. I want to give a recap. The, moment, the reason we're having this is because there are some things we cannot leave to chance. There are some things we cannot leave to what? To chance. And... If we are going to be effective ministers, and when we think about ministers, I don't want you to think about people in suits, you know, and tie. I want you to think about people who serve, people who look at where it's lacking, and by the provision God has put in their hands, supply exactly what is needed. If we're going to be effective ministers with a roaring, over time walking adversary, then we must realize that. Our work is too spiritual for us to be casual about it. It's more than planning, this is what I'm going to do this year as a creative. You have to, you have to approach it with the mindset of a spiritual being who is armed and ready for the work. You have to approach it with the mindset of a co-laborer with God. So that when some certain things are beginning to happen, you'll be sensitive enough. And more than that, you will be prepared to handle the oppositions. Are we together? So I'm going to read something for you. We're going to read it and just give you context for our next prayer. And then from that time, let me just prepare you. After this, the next prayer we're going to be praying, we're going to be entering into a consciousness of supernatural influence. Are we together? And so I just, I just want to prepare you. You have to see yourself as more. And I'll explain what I mean in, in that moment. But ex Exodus chapter 31 verse 1 the bible says then the lord said to moses see i have chosen bezalel son of uri and the son of or of the tribe of judah and i have filled him with the spirit of god with wisdom and with understanding with knowledge and with all kinds of skill interesting right god has filled one particular person with the spirit of god emphasis with the spirit of wisdom which is rather 
the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge, and he has given him all kinds of skill. Verse 4, to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Crafts, And then he goes on, verse 6, he says, Moreover, I have appointed Oholiab, so the first person is Bezalel. Now he says, I have appointed Oholiab, the son of Ahisamach of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given ability to all the skilled workers, all of them. God gave them ability to make everything I have commanded you. The tent of meeting, the ark of the covenant, Lord, with the atonement to cover it, and all the furnishings of the temple, the tables and its article, the pure gold lamp and all the accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offerings and all its utensils, the basin with its stand, and also the woven garment, both the sacred garments for Aaron the priest and the garments for, for, son, for his sons, when they serve as priests and the anointing oil and the fragrant incense for the holy place they are to make them listen just as i have commanded you right and so this person of scripture god pulls in a number of people crafts people right and he says i have blessed them with ability and this is so interesting because when i used to read this verse at first i used to think oh maybe bezahil and oholia you know, we're probably like lying down somewhere and God now came and he put his hand on them and, and they woke up and they were just like, <laughs> I don't know. But somehow I can just, I can craft God and God can do that. But I, I remember the Lord really making me think about their history. Now, Bezalel and Oholiab in this time of the Exodus, right, came, were born in Egypt. They were born in Egypt. The reason they were good at craftsmanship was actually a very sad story. It was that they were born into Egypt at the time where there was slavery and they were born into forced labor and they had to learn how to craft gold. What they did not know was, first of all, God gave them the ability, but also God had a bigger plan. Even if they started out as labored men, the skill and the blessings of God was on them for a greater cause for a time where their eyes would be open and he would be able to use it for the things he has truly commanded not out of forced slavery but out of willful service to god as created beings and why this is interesting is because you know i remember how i learned how to you know begin a sing or touch instrument it wasn't as though god touched my hands and then i started to learn crafty things right some of you probably have the same story if you probably sang as a guy or, or a lady. I, I learned how to start pushing my voice to sing because I wanted to impress ladies. But even if that was my starting story, God had something to write about me. I have given this young man, Joe Deep, the ability for this kind of craft, right? And now call him onto service so that he will not just use it for anything that his heart, you know, desires or what he's being forced to use it for or society and constructs are making him use it for. Now I want you to set him aside, let him know my hand is on him and let him use his gift just as I commanded. Listen, guys, as creatives, the moment we become believers in Jesus, the moment we become Christians, the moment we become people who have made and struck a covenant with God. Are we together? And our covenant with God has changed our heart, changed our desires. We no longer just do what we like. We want to pursue love and righteousness and peace. Whatever we want to do, we are doing as Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says, as imitators of God, as dearly beloved children. We're doing as people who have submitted, who have submitted, our bodies our in as instruments to God, starting with our minds for the renewal by his word because we are aware that if we're left to just do things by ourselves, we might not always do the right thing. It's not that we wouldn't do anything right, but we might not always do the right thing, right? And so we submit ourselves to God's word. Like Bezalel and Oholiab submitted themselves to Moses to listen for the measurement. God has measurements. They were not just supposed to go or oh, do what's in your mind, right? God had given the precise measurements to Moses. Like this is how you are to craft this particular one. It's not, you know. One second, let's take care of something very quickly.
All right, got it. So guys, co-hosts, please be very careful. <laughs> Something happened on Zoom. Someone came and crashed in and we just had to quickly take care of that. All right. So back to where we were. God has given measurements. God has given measurements. We're not without clarity on what to create. We're not cr without clarity. And so it must start first with submitting our minds to God to get the measurement. God who gave you the ability, who blessed you with the skill, who is said to pour wisdom. And for some of you, you might be Bezalel. Some of you, you might be Oholiab. He has planned for you to, to collaborate with certain people. It's his plan. And I want you to just go to God this moment. First of all, when you go to the word, you will begin to see the measurements. You begin to see that there is a, there, that, that there is a mind renewal that, that God has for you. And once he renews your mind, you are to create accordingly, right, to what his mind has renewed you. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 says, I urge you by the message of God, present yourselves as living sacrifices unto God, holy and acceptable. You know, that is your reasonable worship. Don't be conformed to this world, the way they create, the way they go on with things. Instead, be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you are able to discern what the will of God is. As you study God's word, you are able to see clearly what does God want you to create. You realize, yes, the gospel is at the priority and that's so important and we'll talk about that when we're praying finally. But God has much bigger plans. He wants to redeem every part of culture every part of culture there is there is much to redeem and we can walk with god as we open we're like oh wow this is how god speaks about love but that's how i knew love to be i'm going to paint accordingly i'm going to sing accordingly i'm going to draw accordingly wow this is how god speaks about faith then i'm going to paint accordingly i'm going to craft accordingly wow this is how god speaks about mod modesty i'm going to make my 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 wares accordingly wow this is how god speaks about care i'm going to practice medicine accordingly wow this is how god speaks about honest gain i'm going to move my business accordingly the word of god begins to become the measure by which we carry out our skill and so what we're going to do in this moment is we're going to pray and the gospel being priority on top it's not optional for us to, to do that work. If we care for people enough to give them clothes and give them food and, and equip them and, and educate them with what they need here, when here is over, what do they have if all they received was gifts from us? So we'll give them as much you know, of, of the love and service and mind renewal on every space and topic but we will not do it without giving them the gospel. And so I want you to just lift up your voice in this moment and just say, Father, I surrender my mind to your word for renewal so that I can discern what your will is, so that I can know what the measurements are. How am I to create? Maybe some of you have been mind boggled on this matter and maybe it has even paralyzed you from creating. Here is your moment to just speak to God. The Bible says if there's anything giving you anxiety or worry, present it to God as a request with thanksgiving, knowing that he will answer you, knowing that he will answer you, and then on you set your minds on things. And so I want you to lift up your voice in this moment and just begin to speak to the one who gave you the ability to create and who has measurements by which you will create. In the next three minutes, just speak to him in, the wis in your wisdom and understanding and speak to him in the spirit. Come on, just lift your voice in this moment. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Just a simple moment of devotion to God. God, I submit my mind to your word. I do not wrestle my heart versus your heart. I submit my mind to your word. As a living sacrifice, I, pre preserve, I present myself to you 
I craft according to your measurements, according to your wisdom, according to your statutes. I craft the gospel with my gift. I craft every sound doctrine with my gift. I make spaces better with my gift. I bring the care of God to my gift. I pursue my gift and, and its prosperity by your wisdom, by your, the measurement that you have provided. Come on, lift up your voice. One minute, 30 seconds more. Just let God hear you in this moment. This is, this is also a good time to just speak to the Lord and ask him for wisdom to execute. Many of you already know what to do, but just speak to the Lord and ask him for wisdom to execute. He says, if anyone needs wisdom, let him ask from me. I give without upbraiding. I give without saying, what did you do with the last one? I give without upbraiding. And just humbly come to your father. Don't forget, he gave you the ability and he has measurement for you. You are a co-laborer with him. He wants you to do it more than you want to do it. So you're asking him is a beautiful collision with his already prepared provision. I want you to just ask him, Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> you gave the ability and you are giving the measurement. I need the wisdom. Or you've given the ability and you've given the measurement. I need the wisdom to execute this year. To execute according to your counsel. To execute in your power. To execute without being drawn away by worldly counsel. To execute without being distracted by worldly goals. To execute without giving into the, 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 the genuine care of others for me that might stop me from doing work. To execute without having as much anxiety this year. To ex execute without, without having as much imposter syndrome this year. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. To execute knowing that you are with me through the end of the ages. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Oh, we praise you, Lord. Come on, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. The effectual fervent prayer of the one who trusts in Jesus Christ make it much power available. You have to believe in this moment and what it's doing in your life. You have to know, you have to see it as you pray. As you pray, see the effects of it. We worship, we praise you, adore you, we love Keep your hearts connected to God. I'm going to raise the next point, but just keep your hearts connected to God. This moment was made for you. God, God called me to create this moment so that he as a creator can speak with the ones he created. And so just keep your hearts connected as I, as I speak over. Right? In this moment, we're going to pray towards our execution. Listen to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter how little you think you are. You are not little. You are light. And because you are light, you are threat to darkness. You are threat to darkness. The devil will try your minds. The devil will try your life. He will try your health. Because of the... You are just thinking it is a plan. He is seeing the effect of the plan and would rather make you feel insufficient so you never execute it. Are we together? You might think you are, you are little, you just, you just became saved, you just even started committing your hands to God, and God is giving you plans. But the enemy does not see you as little. The enemy sees the effect of your works 
over the minds of people. He sees that if you release those works, if you talk about that topic, if you bring in the gospel, if you release that clothing line and restore sanity, he sees the effect. He sees that people's mind will turn to God and he sees that that's not what he wants. And so listen, he will try the works of your hands. He will try your minds. He will try your health. He will try things. And so in this moment, I want you to pray with authority. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying? I want you to pray with authority as light. I want you to speak because not every delay you are experiencing is something to become about. I can tell you that for sure. There are times in my life, in my work, I'm experiencing some delays and I'm just like, I know there is stuff to be patient about. But if I am truly to be patient about it, let it not be because I did not pray. You pray about it, you take it by the horns, you say, Father, if this matter is as a result of the work of darkness, right now I scatter it. I put it to, I put an end to it. There's some of you, you can wait, wait, you know, build small, let the money come. But there is money you can obtain by favor. Listen to me. There is collaboration you can obtain by favor. There is, there is connect, there are connections. I have slept and woken up with names of people to call. People I've never met. Do you get what I mean? And so right now, I want you to engage your, your authority, engage your ability in the spirit. You are not called to do this work as a mere man. You are not called to be affected as a mere person. If you are going to be patient, let it not be because you are slack in your authority. If you are going to, 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 to be humble in your beginning, let it not be because you are not taking as much advantage as for, of what is available to you in a moment in time. Are you together? And so I want you to lift up your voice. Some of you have, tr you have on the same matter, you have stretched. And it is not natural for some. For some it is, but for some it is not. So you're going to lift up your voice in this last phase. And you're going to say, Father, for executing all the works in my hand, I stand in authority against every work of the darkness that has tried this work. I put an end to anything that is as a result of the work of darkness. Your health that might have been tried, we are putting an end to it in this moment. Because you need that health to get this work done. Are we together? Every time you're about to take up that project, something happens. That is... That is possibly not natural. And so you're going to lift up your voice for yourself, for one another. Listen, you are doing it as an authoritative person that has been called to end the work of the darkness because the Spirit of God is upon you. Lift up your voice in this moment and just begin to, to speak authoritatively. Come on. Come on, lift your voice and pray like you know who you are. Lift your voice and dish out authority like you know who you are. Close your eyes, imagine them encamped around you and put an end to it. Put an end to it. Put an end to it. You are cool. You are kind. You are more than these. Not for words trying to describe you. Elohim. Elion, Ale Shele, we the greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, You're not about to stop doing 
I'm going to just declare over everyone. I want to make sure you can hear me good. I want to make sure you can hear me good. Can everyone hear me good? Because we're about to say amen a lot. Can everyone hear me good? Can everyone hear me good? Awesome. 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 Now listen to me. I honestly didn't come here to and we should never ever come to play. But this moment, this moment is one of this moment has made this year clear for many of you. Do you understand? The only unrest you will experience is the one that is natural, that your heart will be fixed on God and you have peace in. You know? <laughs> Where, where Jesus says you will have troubles in this world, that kind of thing. But every unnatural, unnecessary disturbance has ended. Has ended. Has ended. And so now in the name of Jesus, as a seal over every prayer offered, and as a covering over those who could not even exercise as much authority but are still full of authority in you anyways i decree that every plan of the devil over everyone who i am speaking over that has found some level of, of, of success either over your health because of the work in your hand or over your finance because of the work in your hand or over your company because of the work in your hand or over your minds in the name of Jesus, it is scattered, it is ended right now. In the name of Jesus, it is done away with right now. If your health has been attacked before now, right now, I speak restoration in this moment. It falls off your body like it was never meant to be there because it was never meant to be there. You receive full strength to do the work. Your minds that have been clouded before now and you could not explain it in this moment, like a crack, it opens up and you experience freedom in the name of Jesus. The people that you have needed to have, to have, the people that you have needed, the people that you have needed to have connections with, the people that you have needed to have relationship with, the doors open right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that there is wisdom in your execution you no longer function naturally as you make your plans you consider that the power of creation works mightily in you when you don't not know what to do yet you will smile because the one who holds all solutions dwells in you and you are his temple 
your peace would be large but more large will be your audacity to press forward and finish the work that you have started in the name of jesus every delay that has been unnatural on your walk ends this moment we bring you up to speed and cause your work to flow smoothly in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father every unnatural sh uh, shyness and hiding and covering of your light we seize its existent you blossom this moment and onward in the name of jesus all of the habits that you have wrestled with because the devil has had planned that this is where he would corner you in the name of jesus your eye is open to the way of escape in the name of jesus you walk out of the chains because the spirit that raised jesus christ from the dead is at work over your body right now at work over your heart right now in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father we give you praise daddy we love you we thank you for giving us such a gift making us with the ability to to create and thank you for giving us your word and your spirit to show the measurement by which we should create thank you for backing us up with authority as you sent christ christ has sent us and so we go we go in power we go in wisdom. We go in authorance. We go unafraid. We go unashamed. We go experiencing progress and joy in the faith. We go growing in the length and the height and the breadth and the depth of your love. We grow expanding in wisdom on how to operate even though we are not of this world because we are in it. We are not perturbed. We are unstoppable. We execute more this year. We have ourselves as a tighter bond this year unbreakable bond in the name of jesus and in jesus mighty name we pray and amen thank you guys for <laughs> for joining in i could say we could go on for two hours but the plan was to make sure that i end by the prayers by 10 and and i want to honor that right i want to honor that we're just going to pray one more thing and come on come on you know um the reason we're going to pray it is because the bible in two occasions makes emphasis on praying for those people i have had enough conversation with believers are we together i have had ha haven't had enough conversation with believers and with creative people to know that there is something our gift does to us it makes us famous <laughs> especially when you're good and many times it does not consider how grown you are in your spiritual work yet and so people who are wrestling with sexual immorality have risen quickly to fame and the, the, the community has put express uh, has put pressure on them to lead when they are not absolutely ready yet and so in james chapter 5 and in first john chapter 5 the two scriptures that emphasize confidence in prayer you know james chapter 5 the writer says just as elijah prayed and there was no rain and they, he prayed and there was rain he says so also the verses before you can confess your flaws to one another and pray that there will be healing in first john chapter 5 he says this is the confidence that we have in him that whenever we pray god hears us and he will give us life for our brother so he then says in the next verse so if you see a brother or sister sinning make sure you pray and so the final thing we're going to sign out with here is you're going to speak words we're not going to be a gossiping company this year did you hear what i said we're going to acknowledge that some of our people are struggling and they did not ask for the fame that they have they did not ask to be pressured into leadership what they deserve from us is our 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 partnership for their growth in the faith even as we exp uh, express and enjoy and praise what god is doing with their gift so in the next two minutes, just to wrap up, I want you to intercede for everyone in the Christian community circle who is dealing with some flaws or dealing with some doubts or growth in their knowledge. Some people just released one, two, three videos on their knowledge of God and then everybody started to take them as a role model for, for their knowledge in the faith. And they started to feel pressure and the devil found a room to attack and the body of Christ couldn't hold them up. Instead, push them down. It ends this year because you are going to do a different work. You're going to see them and you're going to pray for them. You're going to reach out to them and you're going to find out, is this one truly rebellious or is this one someone who needs my help and I need to be a support and a crutch for them in this, in this time? Two minutes, make it count. Knowing that God 
who stopped the rain and made the rain fall will stop the addictions in their life, would give strength to their mortal body, would fill their minds with authority and all that they have in Christ Jesus. Come on, make this moment count. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. And if you are that person here, we are praying for you. We are praying for you. You would see the gospel and the blood of Christ as a solution, as the panacea to ending, ending your, 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 your lack of victory. Giving you cycles of victory from here on. You will become strong in the word. You have known of the love of God. You have known of his grace. But now you would press on. You will become hungry for the Lord, for his word. You will desire it as, as, as milk, as a baby desires milk. Earnestly desired, you will pursue it. You will not pursue keeping the status. You will pursue intimacy. And the word will abide in you. And you will bear fruits as you ought to in the name of Jesus. You will not give in to the pressures. You will not quit because you feel like you can't handle it. You will trust in the Lord with all your heart. And great shall be your peace. In the name of Jesus. Those of you dealing with doubt, God will give you peace. The God who trained Paul to be effective for the work, you will trust him this year. In the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you so much. And and um this is gonna be left up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm recording the, the, the video for and I'm gonna post it up on my YouTube channel. Um for anyone who wants to catch up with it. My YouTube channel is simply youtube.com slash Joe Deep. Simply youtube.com slash Joe Deep. Yeah, and so you can just check it up. It was great having this time with you. I'm still gonna gist with you guys for like 15 minutes. Only those who want exclusively or those who want to gist. Um, but the prayer moment have has ended here and um, um, <laughs> Thank you guys. I can see all of your responses. I really appreciate your your joining um, It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing to be to be sincere um, um, Be strong in the Lord this year Great is your peace fix your hearts on the right thing and I want you to know that God has you in mind God has been speaking to a number of us. Some of you here, God has been speaking to you about the Christian community this year, and that's because he has us in mind. And so I want you to be confident that God is going to be our rock this year. God is going to be our rock this year. There's going to be resources. Listen, there's going to be resources. There's going to be resources. Just keep working. Keep working. As, as Jesus was sent by the Father, he has sent you. So go, 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 go. All right? All right, so... It's 10 o'clock now. We have entered just in time. Um, let me see if I can just play, play, play a song so that we can transition.